y'all. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here in Kingsley, Michigan at the Kingsley Club. This place is so pure. Absolutely loving it. Finished at two under 33 on the front nine. So in great shape shooting the 60s here at the Kingsley Club and my very first round of golf in Michigan. We're just gonna head straight into 10 right now. Par four, 446. Really good looking driving hole here. Bunkers down the left, bunkers down the right. I think we're gonna favor kind of the left with a little fade. And the wind is kind of helping, kind of quartering maybe that direction. Down the right side, I can't tell if it got to that bunker or not. We'll have to see. Unfortunately, did find L bunker. And we've got 125 left. Pin looks pretty accessible, pretty much right there in the middle of the green. So they were telling me in the pro shop before I teed off that this course normally plays super firm and fast. When the ball lands, little dust might kick up, but they've gotten a lot of rain and I still think it's playing pretty firm and fast, but apparently this is playing a little softer than normal. So that bunker is definitely reachable. Going with a little gap wedge here. Oh wow, with where that ball ended up right here, that had to have given it a little peak. It landed past and quite a bit left, but when it hopped, I saw it kind of jerk right, and it ended up right here, short of the hole, about seven feet here for birdie. And I see my pitch mark right back over there now. And the putter's staying hot. That gets us to three under on the day. I have absolutely loved these greens. These greens are bent grass greens and so are the tee boxes. The fairways and rough out here are fescue. And I've actually done a pretty good job of reading these greens for the first time around. They are very sloped, which I actually think makes it a little bit easier. I had one confusing putt on the front nine and just didn't hit a good putt on it. But besides that, rolled the rock really well. We're on a number 11, par three, 175. This is an awesome little down the hill par three. I'm gonna go with a smooth eight iron here. Quality swing right there. I really like the turf interaction on my irons out here just really feels compressed when you make good contact. We're in here about 12 feet. Let's see if we can't keep this thing going. Well, I just said I've been doing a good job of reading these greens and that actually went slightly the opposite way. I thought that was going a little left. Par here on 11. Remain at three under through 11. On number 12, and this looks to be pretty tight. Pretty straightforward off the tee. You can see everything down there, but it seems to be pretty tight. Par four, 455. Pretty straight, just kind of feeds to the right. I am gonna go with driver, take it down the left side with a little fade. Position A, 112 yards. Well, that is our guesstimation because I left my rangefinder in the car. And then super smart me, when we made the turn and I was right by the car, I didn't get it. Because, I don't know, we were playing good. I don't know, it just completely slipped my mind. So we're just dealing with it. I've got sand wedge here, but there is a sprinkler head right over there. And this pin looks to be pretty much in the center. So we're gonna play 112, flight it down sand wedge. That wasn't a bad swing right there, just a little right and then it spun right and it looks like there's a huge like 
funnel that just goes right off the green. There is our pitch mark, exactly pin high, about four feet right, and then it did trundle just off there. But really, not too bad of a place to be. There's just a big slope right here, so this putt's going to be pretty slow. And with par here on 12. We remain at three under on the day, and we have a super cool drivable par four here, number 13. 292, slightly uphill, and maybe into the breeze a little bit, so it should just be a full driver here. I didn't come here to lay up. We're teeing it high, letting it fly. Looked to be kind of left edge of the green. I saw it bounce. I think it should be a decent spot. If you enjoy these traveling vlogs, drop a like down below. That greatly helps me out and share these videos with your friends. That allows me to continue putting out all these videos that hopefully y'all are enjoying. And just want to thank y'all so much for all the incredible support that you've already shown on the channel. Pulled up to the left side of the green and found out that the driver is way too much club, even into the wind. There's the flag right there. We have got our work cut out for us because this is a massive slope here and that pin is just suspended up on that shelf. Wanted to walk up here and show you this pin placement. There's the ball like right there. There is a shelf right there. Then you don't want to miss it too far to the left because this is a huge bowl right here. This green complex is wild. If they put a pin back there, oh my goodness. It just ran out of steam and then just ever so slightly went right still a good two putt that's one of those drivable par fours that you underestimate how difficult it can play made a really good two putt from 50 something feet probably however you can really get yourself into a bind around that green if you go for it and miss it in the wrong spot so escape there with the par remain at three under five holes remaining beast of a par five here 14 605 bends to the right. I think we're pretty much going to be taking it kind of straight through the middle of the fairway you see there. Driver's starting to feel pretty good. Great shape. 260 left. This is a really good par five. And off the tee, I couldn't really tell, but I could have taken that way further right if I wanted to. But still in great shape here. I think I'm going with a full three iron. Four wood's gonna be too much. I think the three iron is the play. And that is the reason we went with the three iron right here. Walking up, we are short of the bunker and short of the green. I knew if I hit that three iron really, really well, we might get there, but four wood was just too much and it brought in way too much trouble here. So that was the correct choice. We've got about 30 yards chipping back up the hill to a back hole location here. To me, I thought that was gonna leak left. Oh, that is a par here on 14. Oh, I wanted that putt right there. However, sometimes they just don't fall. I thought it was gonna go a little left and didn't. Stayed straight. Three under, four holes remaining. Number 15, hardest hole on the course is what everyone's been saying. 465 par four. Fairway slopes left to right, very hard. So we wanna hug that left side really good driving hole here. And our target aiming point is gonna be kind of left edge of the fairway. 
It's always fun to have a 20 mile an hour wind directly in your face on the most difficult hole on the course. Martina and I letting it fly. Good shape right here, right side of the fairway. 145 up the hill into the wind. I think I'm gonna go with a nine iron here. I think it's gonna be playing at least mid 150s and if not like 160. So let's hit a good full flight of nine. Walking up here, there's where it landed, spun back a little bit. That is a brutally difficult pin, especially into the wind. Would have needed to probably hit an eight iron and flight it down, but then you're messing with being in that back bunker. So all in all, we're about 30 feet short here, so not a bad place to leave it. Played a lot of really good courses this year. Very thankful for all the places I've been able to tee it up. But I have to say, this this is up there. I have really liked this course a whole lot and would definitely come back. Little beast of a par three, 16, 225. Looks like you definitely don't want to miss it left. I'm gonna go with a four iron here. Pin is set kind of on the left side of the green. And so I'm gonna favor kind of the right. This wind just kicked up even a little more. I'm gonna actually go with a five iron. So I'm up here on the right side of the green. This is a huge slope. So if you come play here, make sure to land it kind of right of the green, let it trundle left. We are well short, unfortunately didn't hit that one particularly well. Got a lengthy one here for Bird. Oh, that just lacked a little bit of speed. Short game has really been tight today. Love to see not many blemishes on the scorecard. Had one lapse on the front nine, middle of the fairway, under 100 yards with wedge and just hit a really bad wedge shot. That's our only bogey today with an eagle and two birdies, three under, two to play. We're on a 17, par five, 545. The tee shot is gonna play pretty straight. You've got a little more room right than it may look and you just wanna stay out of those bunkers on the left. So I'm just gonna be pretty much taking it right down the middle of the fairway there. We're in really good shape here. However, if it wasn't into the wind, there is a massive slope here. This is like a ski slope. If you can hit this, you're gonna get like another 100 yards of roll. I mean, this thing is crazy downslope right here. I don't know if I've ever seen in a fairway a more severe downslope. That's pretty awesome. But we did not catch that downslope, and we are sitting 255. I definitely didn't come here to lay up. It's right back into the wind, so it should be just a good solid Fort Wood from here. That was a little left. Uh, definitely left to the green. We're gonna have to see. Just wanted to show y'all for reference how downhill that plays. That is crazy. So we are in not great shape here. We've got green to work with, but not a good lie at all. Anything within 25 feet, I would be extremely happy about, especially with that lie right there.
That's the unfortunate bogey here on 17. Not what you're wanting to see on a par five, especially 255 to the hole for your second shot. So it's in the past, two under, still in great shape to shoot in the 60s. This is a par 71, final hole number 18, par four. This looks to be a pretty sweet hole here. 422 yards for the finishing hole here at the Kingsley Club. And looks like you pretty much just want to hit it right down the middle. So I'm setting the camera up here. We are in the bunker here, 140 right there. And I'm gonna go with a smooth little pitching wedge. I'm walking up here to put the camera. Caught that one a little heavy, a little short, like 25 yards short. So, I need to get this up and down, Just shooting 60s. Just hit that with a little pace we would have shot in the 60s today should have hit that putt just with a little more pace and then it wouldn't have trickled left it would have held its line and we would have shot in the 60s today however round of 70 one under here at the kingsley club this place is awesome i absolutely love my time out here as for me kingsley club michigan we'll see you when we see you peace